you know, I love that um, that idea that, and it, you see it a lot on the right. Um, and I, you know, I hate to make property rights a left right issue, but it, as it turns out, it seems to be that way. Um, when you see these sorts of things happening, these slow creep of the government into your life, you know, there comes a time where you say, well, at first you say, well, why isn't somebody doing something about this? And then you think, well, why not me? Like, why? Well, I know what I'm talking about. I, I, I don't need to be a fancy politician. I don't need a fancy studio to do these things. I have a computer. I have a cell phone. Why can't I be the one? telling the other side of the story. So I love that about how you came into sort of being a an online activist, like moving from hunting guide to online activist is sort of the same trajectory as moving from being a farm wife <laughs> to, to a citizen journalist like me. Uh, it's funny how many people took that same trajectory. Um, now, long before, well, sorry, I'll go ahead. I'll interrupt you there. Yeah, when please. The, when the knife's to your throat, Sheila, what do you do? Yeah. Ask yeah. for or you, or you push the, the arm away, right? Yeah. It's really what it is. The, the, the knife is at our throat on, in many respects right now uh, in this country. And, um, you know, my dad and I, my dad, he like, he is, <laughs> he's a character to say the least. And, uh, you know, he, he's like, he's like, what are you doing online? He's like, you're an activist now? I hate activists, he said. And I said, dad, like we're not going to be able to hunt soon unless we do something here you know and then i yeah. started we started we're, what we're doing right now is we're working on a show in the background it's going to be yukon strong the show and we're just going to be recording our adventures in the wilderness we have i would say maybe 25 percent of the first season done already and it's it's going to be great and now he's all into it he's like yeah and he's and i'm like well, we can have a section if you want where you can just say whatever you want he's like I can talk about Donald Trump. I said, <laughs> sure, if you want, you know, I don't care. Like he, 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 he's, he's now he's the same thing that happened to me is, is happening to him, I think. So um, everybody's got to get involved in here. Like we saw the last election, you know, the conservatives, they won the majority vote, which means we still have the silent majority out there, but we need them to become a vocal minority now, like they did in Ottawa last weekend. That was just fantastic to, to see so many good people together. Like it was awesome. Well, talk about the integrity march in a second, because I'm still sort of riding high from, <laughs> from being with okay. that many people who care about, um, j again, I say property rights because there were a lot of people there who were like, I don't own a gun, but I respect your right to have one uh, and be a, a legal firearms owner. You're vetted every single day why are you the problem? I want police resources spent somewhere else. So I thought that was great because there was a, a strong contingent of those people in the crowd. Um, but I was reading your article in the post millennial that you wrote, I guess it was back in January of 2020. So five months before the order in council that banned 1500 popular models of rifles and shotguns. And, you know, they continue to shoehorn more models into there every single day. But you, the story of that article is that you were actually quite reluctant to have to become, you know, this, this advocate for the firearms owning community. Um, but Justin Trudeau forced you to be one. Yeah. Like I, I don't want, like, don't get me wrong. It was fun to meet all the people out there. And I've made, I was actually thinking about this last night because I, I was like, okay, I don't, I don't want to get involved in this. It's exhausting. You have yeah. to like, I feel like I have the same fight a thousand times with the same people. Like there's a real, mm -hmm. um, there's a real, you know, you know what it is, is the folks on the other side of this argument, they're, they're starved intellectually for, for statistics, data, and new arguments, new justifications for, for their narr narrative. So you just get these people that just keep repeating things. And it's like, they're literally any argument they make we we have an answer for it and we have the data for it there's very few instances where they can be like yeah we got you you know yeah um but, it, but now i'm starting to also feel like i made so many new friends this weekend you know like it it's it has brought some some positivity into my world too you know um but it is it's exhausting like i 
I do everything myself. Like I have to make my videos. Like I was the whole flight home. I was so tired on the way home. I just wanted to sleep and I had to make videos the whole time. And, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of work, you know, and you have to be monitoring things to make sure you're on top of situations and it's mentally draining. And there's a lot of negativity. Like people are attacking you. People are saying completely horrible things that they would never ever yep, see yep. in your face, you know? And, um, at the end of the day, I just want to, I just want to go out hunting. I just want to, I, <laughs> I just want to live my life in peace. And, you know, I, I'll be honest, probably if, if we can secure gun rights and property in this country, uh, you know, get a change in government, I'm going to ease off the gas pedal like a thousand percent and go back to enjoying my life. I, I just, I, right now I understand that, um, People need to step up wherever they can. We need we need as many voices as we can get. So I gotta do what I can. If you'd like to get access to my show as well as other great TV style shows too, like Ezra's Nightly Ezra Levant Show and David Menzies' Friday Night Show Rebel Roundup, just go to rebelnews.com/slash subscribe. That's rebelnews.com/slash subscribe.